everyone, this is Miss Ella. Thank you for joining me for our 10th and last music lesson. Today we will have two different games. One about the notes we have learned in the past few weeks and one to check if you remember some of the things we have talked about in our lessons. We will finish our lesson with a very nice song that I'm sure you will like. But first, let's start with our musical game. Last week, we talked about the steps we can imagine when we sing the notes we have learned together. I explained to you that in the language of music, we don't write the notes on steps, we write them on lines. Actually, we already talked about those lines in one of our lessons. Do you remember? It was the lesson about the Renaissance period. And I remember telling you that at that moment, composers started to write music on five lines. Since then, this is the way we write music. Let's take a look at those lines. So here are the lines. We count them from the bottom to the top. Help me count and make sure there are five lines on the screen. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now we know there are five lines. This listening emoji is on the first line. Where is it now? Exactly, on the second line. And now? Now it's on the fourth line. And here it's on the third line. Now look carefully and tell me on which line is the listening emoji. Exactly, on the second line. What about the party emoji? Yes, on the fifth line. And the happy emoji? That's right, on the third line. And what about the kiss emoji? On the first line. And you can see the last one, the music emoji on the fourth line. Now, if you look carefully, you will see that there are five lines, as we already know, but there are also spaces between the lines. How many spaces do you see? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Now let's play the same game. On which spaces are the emojis? Where is the listening emoji? On the first space. And the kiss emoji? Count the spaces. One, two, three, and you can see the kiss emoji on the fourth space. On which space is the party emoji? That's right, on the third space. And last one, the music emoji is on the second space. So you see, the same way these emojis are on the lines or on the spaces, that's the way we organize the music notes. It's actually not that complicated. I hope one day we will have the chance to learn that together. I told you we were going to have two games today, so let's start our second game. You have learned many new things in the past few weeks, so I prepared some questions about some of the things we have worked on together. Each time you will see and hear a question and you will have four possible answers. You will need to choose the right one. Don't answer too fast. Listen to the possible answers, think, and only then choose the one you think is the right one. Are you ready? Let's start. During the medieval period, there were two kinds of music in Europe. One, jazz music and pop music. Two, music for orchestra and music for singers. Three, music for the church and music performed by troubadours outside of the church, and four, beautiful and boring music. And the answer is three, music for the church and music performed by troubadours outside of the church. Did you know the answer? Let's try another one. The troubadours were influenced by one, their friends, two, the Arabic music, three, the church, four, their families. And the answer is two, the Arabic music. Very good. 
Let's move to the next question. What language is the word Renaissance and what does it mean? 1. Italian and it means France. 2. French and it means rebirth. 3. Swedish and it means music. 4. German and it is a greeting like hi. And the answer is 2. French and it means rebirth. Renaissance, rebirth. Next question. What is a delicious dessert that was invented during the Renaissance period? 1. Ice cream. 2. Chocolate. 3. Smoothies. 4. Cake. Do you remember this one? The right answer is 1. Ice cream. Next question. In which country musicians play the tala on tabla? 1. China 2. Spain 3. Cuba 4. India And the answer is 4. India Do you remember we learned how to play an Indian rhythm? Let's try another question. Who were the most important people during the Baroque period? 1. Teachers 2. YouTubers 3. Musicians 4. Kings I'm sure you know the answer for this question. It's, of course, 4. Kings. Next question. Do you remember where Mozart was born? 1. India 2. United States, 3. Austria, 4. Spain. This is a hard one, do you remember? Mozart was a composer from the classical period and he was born in 3. Austria. Next question. The composer Brahms from the Romantic period composed 21 dances that were influenced by 1. Chinese dances, 2. Arabic dances, 3. Hungarian dances, and 4. Indian dances. Do you remember we even danced to his music? So, do you know the answer? It's number 3. Hungarian dances. Another question. Do you remember what impression means? 1. Feelings. 2. Children. 3. Animals. 4. It's a fancy word for music. Do you remember this word? Impression means feelings. So the answer is number one. Do you want to try another one? It's a hard one. Where is the song Arirang from? 1. Spain. 2. Mexico. 3. France. And 4. Korea. And the answer is 4. Korea. Did you remember this one? Another question. What are the three important elements in jazz music? 1. Instruments, musicians and audience. 2. Music, love and laughter. 3. Improvisation, call and response and scat. And 4. Friends, family and food. Do you remember our lesson about jazz music? Do you know the answer? That's right, the answer is three. Improvisation, call and response, and scat. We have two more to go. What did all the composers from the modern period have in common? One, they broke the rules. Two, they never stopped writing. Three, they always had fun. And four, they always ate ice cream. This was not so long ago, do you remember? The right answer is one. They broke the rules. And our last question for today. What does musical theater use? One, the teachers, the students, and the parents. Two, languages, countries, and people. Three, cooking, baking and eating, and four, acting, 
dancing and singing? And the answer is, of course, four, acting, dancing and singing. Did you answer all the questions correctly? Only part of them? I'm sure you remembered at least part of the themes we talked about, and that's great. Now let's do our last activity for today. I would like to teach you a very nice song. The name of the song is Hello to All the Children of the World. And before we sing the song, we need to learn how to say hello in different languages. So just repeat after me. In French, we say bonjour. Say it with me, bonjour. In Spanish, we say buenos dias. Buenos dias. In Australia, they speak English, but we say good day. Say it with me, good day. In German, we say guten tag. Guten tag. In Japanese, we say konnichiwa. Say it with me, konnichiwa. In Italian, we say ciao. Ciao. In Hebrew, we say shalom. Say it with me, shalom. And in Russian, we say dobrodien. Say it with me, dobrodien. Now let's learn how to sing this part. As always, I will sing a sentence and you will repeat after me. Ready? Hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Hello. Bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre dien. Ciao, shalom, dobre dien. Hello to all the children of the world. Children of the world. Good, now let's sing this part together. So you don't need to repeat after me, you sing at the same time. Ready? Mm, this is the first note. And we start with hello. Ready? And hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre dien. Hello to all the children of the world. Very good. Now that you know this part and you know how to say hello in different languages, let's listen to the song. Did you like this song? You can listen to it again and sing along. This is the best way to learn a song. Just repeat it many times and it will stay in your head and in your heart. This is all for today's lesson. 
Our musical time machine has finished its journey, but I'm sure you will remember at least one period or one detail from all we have discovered together. Keep listening to music and enjoying it. Goodbye.